Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jock the Game here. Welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in this episode, holy bejeebus, Batman. We're going to start chapter three. And I don't know how to feel about it, what's going to happen, but here we are hitting buttons that we have to make sure we hit because wow, easy, wowsy, wowsers. Chapter three, guys, don't even understand. I don't even get how in the world we're here. But. We are. That's what matters. Uh, slot. Yes. Continue. Yes. This is crazy. We're here. This is chapter three. What the hell? Whoa, 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 what? What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. What? Residents run for cover as an object believed to be meteorites approach. What? You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. <laughs> the government would, too. State of emergency. By the way, the world's ending. It's like, okay, but, you know, we'll, we'll get in a state of emergency for, like, the dumbest things, too. It's like, oh, it's too cold outside. State of emergency. That, 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 that's the thing with the state of emergencies, right? Is you're like, what is it? What is it really? Like, it can't be anything serious. In, our, in America, I don't know how it is in Japan, but at least in America, it's like, Oh, we declare a state of emergency. Oh, God, it's too cold. It's like, oh, no. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. It's at 4.02 p.m., which is even more interesting. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Transfer student from beyond the grave. Daily life. What? Transfer student from beyond the grave? It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's Lao on the third floor of the school building. Awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Come on, man. Well, what the heck is this? It's like... A weapon warehouse? Right. See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki's the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from her Moda video, right? Monokuma said that everyone's talent was at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Moda video. And because you saw that... Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew the whole time. Given the position, I'd obviously know any before any of you, right? Your position? Oh, don't worry about it. It was it was a lie. Convenient lies. <laughs> Anyways, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave it away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, you probably could snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, Mrs. Ultimate Assassin? Oh, you pot stirring. Mm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> <laughs> assassins hide and do or hide to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they're all the cautious they can't kill anymore. Can't be. But why did she hide her real identity? Because. She was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had so many opportunities to do so. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude. Please take that back. Take back what you said. I can't understand human... I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I am still in the process of collecting data, so please give me data, please. Right? Uh, if you're so worried, then why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try and kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing everyone is there to stop her. But what about the next time? Sure says so. Best let the sleeping gods lie. 
Oh my god, I love my Atua, and Atua be like God. Stop it, Angie. Just stop, okay? The talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to us all. <laughs> Wish to survive. Hey! Let us lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone, but she hasn't done anything! <laughs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? But, uh, but. Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Ah, uh, wait. You don't have to take it that far. She's not, like, it's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak a sneak attack will go, oh, it is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um. Sneak attack, strike before she does. Should a, an Aikido master really be saying those things? Facts. Uh, Samugi out here laying the facts. It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Natua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so. Then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of your mouth. Wow! Wow, that's a kind of peppy cheer magic would be, excite anyone. Don't worry about Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take the I'll take down that mask of hers. Yeah. She's ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Mm -hmm. Kaido, don't do anything stupid, okay. okay? Okay, let's leave everything to Kaido. Get it? Ganta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta. Like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Well, well. Oh! I didn't need everyone's usual reactions. Time for a bit of a factor here. <laughs> Mamanakuma. Everyone get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me and I'll surround you with my, or with my body to keep you Be safe. Quiet. As I just said, oh my god, I don't need your usual reactions. Uh, it's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon so everyone can obsess over them. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you a wonderful prize. Hey. <laughs> I said, I figured I'd give you a wonderful prize. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. Well, that's strange. Your little three cubs that are left. <gasps> oh, we got him on and off voice line. I don't think we've actually, well, I think we've had it before, but I'm like freaking out because it's modded on voice lining. But, yo. Okay, modded on. What do you got? They're finally here! Yay! Uh, such a cute... You're so cute today! Practically obscene! Uh, seriously? Just wow! You guys are seriously so cute! Have you guys always been this cute? Oh my god, you're fangirling over here. Ah! Oh, the shock of my super cute... I mean, I guess it's your kids. I mean, you would fanboy or fangirl over your kids. It makes sense. The shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me so... Go bald! You've been bald the whole time. Oh! Like, in patches. Oh. He's actually balding. Uh, gross! Uh, I'm so cold. V very cold. My cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry. I just want to go somewhere warm. Da da da. Da da da. What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slave. Whoa! Monodom, you kind of got to get slapped for your back top. Not going to lie. Punishment time for you, Monodom. You can't... You, here's the thing, Monodom. You can't back talk Monokuma. All these other cubs, they need to get on your level. Monokuma, on the other hand, we can't, we can't have you doing that to Monokuma. We will not let you use us anymore. So then... From now on, I will be calling the shots. Yeah. Huh? Good one, kids. Very, very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing it for so long, you become actively, actually predictable. Too it's the age of the Monocubs now. Out with the old and in with the new. What? 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 But what about the, all the long time fair who? Anyway, you've just 
or you're just a has been. Uh, why don't you just retire and go somewhere you where you can just work on your tan a little bit? Yeah. Has been. Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized this, or you memorized my script perfectly. <laughs> Wait. Okay, no, that voice clip. Now I know where that's from. Oh my god. <laughs> I have not. Okay. So there's a running joke in my friend group where like if something makes you like really upset, we play this voice clip. I I did not know that's where this came from. That is glorious. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you really think I forgive such? Uh-oh. Oh no. Don't kill Monodom. No. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Whoa! Okay, wait a minute. What? Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the exit song. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. Monodom! Whoa! He's out here! It, it no, no, no! Wait! Are you saying that training you like kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the it's worst. completely and utterly wrong! I can't get over that. I actually, I don't think I'm going to get over that the entire series. I'm sorry. The fact that it's an inside joke I had no idea had layers is great. I love my friend group. We're here for it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no way. Balding again. Eh, he's bald again. Honestly, Himiko, I'll give you that. Like, honestly, it's like, okay. It seemed the shock made him bald. This time for good? So then. Now then, as your new headmasters, we have you for you bastards. A wonderful prize. Mm. Um, let us see what this prize is this time. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, bravo. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. I have a feeling. I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man. Aww, man, we didn't need more junk. We have way too much of it anyway. And that junk's name is Kibo. It's robophobic. Uh, now you've gone too far. Everyone, we cannot allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually. Uh, also, we have hidden another flashback like somewhere too. Uh, I hope y'all can grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. Oh boy. So, long. Stand well. <laughs> so we've got another flashback light and three areas to explore. Mm. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Uh, damn it. Uh, I've lost too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. Shit. This world better not be the place if robots exist. I, they should all be destroyed. That to my memory bank. I have recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so, so um, what are we going to do? If they, we just use this junk, we can open up new places. But... <laughs> Yay! A new area, which means we can all have lots of fun! Uh, I, I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we can recall the school's secrets after all. Okay. Oh, if that's the case, then uh, we'll deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro. Um, I'll just leave this assignment to you again. You did a good job last time, alright? Kaido, uh, you know that the point of being my BF is that you're with me 24/7 because I have attachment issues. It's fine. Anyway, no, he doesn't. I'm joking. He doesn't have to be with me 24/7. But 
It's it's daytime. Now if it was nighttime on the other hand, that's a different story. Got Gonta it. To protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta and Gonta will protect right. you. Ugh. All that aside, what are we going to do uh with that thing anyway? I know, we gotta figure out what we gotta do with Monokuma. Can we just keep him as a plushie? I mean, he can be my Chucky doll if he needs to be. Um, let's just leave him be here. Yeah, understandable. Uh, I, I suppose that I should try and go out and get those items around the school like last time. Yep. Oh, Kaido, you actually stayed with me! Uh, yes! Uh, listening to me. That's... Goated. Anyway, everybody else left, but Kaido stayed. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, bro, all right? Uh, okay. Well, I don't mind, but... Huh? You don't mind, but... What exactly? No. No. It's not that. When we were talking, Maki looked really upset. Or you looked really upset. Well, yeah, I can't believe she's an ultimate assassin after all. I can't believe it either, but... She tries to seem like she could... Uh, or she doesn't seem like she could do some terrifying assassin. <laughs> <laughs> terrifying, huh? Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Oh, that's true. He's going to take care of Maki. Can I rummage through things? I can. Although, it's not going to give me anything, apparently. Also love that my phone decided to just be stupid and be like, by the way, I'm going to just turn on for no reason. It's like, phone, that's not, that's not how this works. Are we? Where are we right now? This is Maki's lab, right? Yes, that's literally what this game said. It already established. I got no coins for rummaging through. Fine. I guess I'm not allowed to get mono coins. It's whatever. <clears throat> oh, hi, Angie. I'll actually talk to you. Surprise. I mean, you showed up right in my face. I can't not talk to you. If a new area opens up, if that means more fun for everyone. Uh, Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. What everyone truly desires? Maybe. That's right. Atua is always watching over me. How divine. Yeah, that's Atua for you. Isn't he so divine? I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. I mean, yes. Angie is getting more and more creepy. But we all, we knew she was going to get more and more creepy as soon as she was like, a two of this, a two of that. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, that was our new present. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, there's something over here. So that's... I mean, I figured with all the students just over here. Oh, wait. The key! The magic key. What did the Bowser door lead to? I literally just nicknamed that the Bowser door, and now it's a different door. The door collapsed. Looks like we can get back now. Huh. I wonder what's beyond here. Perhaps something awaits us? Huh? You, you think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, a full world of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. A staircase. We can now get to the fourth floor. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you great. Um. Um. Tuxedos essential for gentlemen, but masks too. Well. I sh I should go. <clears throat> to the fourth floor. Let's figure out what's here. Whoa. Not the floor I expected. But damn, this music freaking bops. Okay. Uh... The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive. I should... I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, uh, what, what's going on in here? Yeah, explain. I know this music is a bop, but we need to explain. So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brittle murder supposedly took place here. Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to use the bathroom alone. Oh, but she say it made-up story, so it mean it okay, right? 
Good. I'm, I'm glad you tried to cheer up, Gata. Good job. Good job, buddy. Um, We need to calm you down, Samugi. Hey. So, um, I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Uh, okay. y yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I am not sure what you mean by that. Actually. I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different from the whole building. Making a building like this must have been a lot of money and work. And all of this research labs are amazing. How much money do you think was put into this school? And if it was all built just for us? You're right. They did mention that the labs were where we could develop our own talents. Your research, your talent, perfect fit, perfect it. Uh, per oh, perfect it. Um, that kind of is like a school, isn't it? it? Can't be. Then Monokumo really wants to be the school where ultimates gather? Hmm. And yet, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Yeah, it does seem that doesn't make sense. But we were brought here and then forced to do a killing game. Uh... Um, I don't understand it all. My plain mind does have its limit, you know. What on earth could this academy of gifted juveniles be? You're asking all the good questions, Samuki. Speaking of, I see a, a classroom, and that's sketchy. So we're going in immediately. This must be a door to the ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab it is. I should look inside. Wait, it's a lab? <gasps> it's Kyo's! Oh, Kyo! Guess where we're gonna hang out, Buckaroo! There are various objects stored in the shelves and cases. Some seem very rare. Huh. <laughs> It would appear that this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. So wonderful. My face control or contorts with glee. And not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing this place makes nothing in this place even makes sense. Sox? Kyo! Oh, Kyo! That's literally like, the, I wanted the title of this episode to be Oh, Kyo! But I feel like that would be like, something. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. So it makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... <laughs> oh, Incredible. can it be? I've never dreamed that, that's, that this truly existed. Kia was quivering with so much excitement, reached out to the or reached out to that peculiar dog statue, and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, uh, can this be? Even the cage. This is so perfect. Uh, uh, um, perfect for what? What are your? What is the statue in the cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch this thing in real life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He is so focused on that. He's not even listening to me. Oh, Kyo. Yes. Exhibit cage. Oh, it's the Japanese Zanari. We literally know that from freaking Yusuke and Persona. Anyway. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. Oh, we're not talking about the... We're not talking about the Inari behind it. We're talking about the katana. You know, it's fine. I, the, the weapon? Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. The the Inari statue? That matters. <laughs> Apparently to me. It makes sense. How beautiful. It's a rusted in places, but looks about like a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it's merely coated with a gold leaf. Hmm. Oh, so it's not made of gold? That said, the katana has immense anthropomorphic anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas were used to defeat generals in wars and are worshipped by gods. That is one such katana, and it is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> huh, whoa! That's a super rad katana! I really want to look see! Uh, no. Kokichi, get away from the katana. Put the katana down, Kokichi. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Put the katana down. 
Exactly. You mustn't touch it without. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful. I would. What I lied. Yes, yes, you would lie, Kokichi. You have a track record now. Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warnings and unsheathed the sword. Kia or Kokichi? Mm. Now this this Kartana is our Kartana is the real deal. Even gold plated for an authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It can also be used as a murder weapon. Oh. Uh, Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or I will. Oh, that was voice line. Oh, Kyo. Why is Kyo white? Kyo is scarily similar to me, and it's really scary. Anyway, yes, literally me if you touch my money. Like, ooh. Anyway. Please don't. Okay, okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Uh, Kokichi slid the sword back into the sheath and handed it back to Kyo. What? Even my hands are all sticky. Uh, that cold plating flakes off easily. And we did we did learn that from a previous game. Because that was part of what got somebody uh, caught, Kokichi. So, uh, yeah. You need to not. Because you'll get caught for murder. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh, dear. oh, yes. It is very old. Th so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without my permission. These are all precious relics. I'll tear out if you <laughs> if you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. I, I get it. Uh, scary threats aren't really that necessary, you know. Uh, so that's what Kyo sounds like when he's angry. Yes, we needed that though. Kyo uh, out here like I will destroy your world if you freaking mess with my stuff. If you don't mess with my stuff and we have normal conversations and things go the way it goes, we're chill. As soon as you mess with my shit, time to get clapped. Which <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so we're here for it. Oh, Kokichi stays here. Gross. I mean, it's not that gross. It's just unfortunate <laughs> rather exhibit case so there's another one there's a book in the display case the bookcases were full of books but i imagine this one's special hmm. this one looks like it was bound by hand Could it be? can it truly be unlike his usual quiet self Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression with steady careful hands he took the book from the showcase Incredible. It is! How amazingly it's actually real! Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, it is an extremely it precious document. Oh. Yes, that's it. Do you understand? This book is history of the fabled caged dog village. It is said to have been destroyed long ago. The caged dog village. Yeah. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of the feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely, extremely precious, one of a kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. One of a kind? That is valuable. See, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are all a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I would be able to lay my eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... Kyo, what do you mean by a reputation? The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However, they surpass the comprehension of people who live in the world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness along with the entire cage dog village. But it seems there are no more rumors. I can feel the power seeping out from inside this book. The deep seated grudge of the girl whose village was destroyed, permeates my every ladder, or letter. 
This is getting weird. I, I think I should just end this conversation. I'm here for it. Keo, fanboy it up. I, I don't care. Fanboy it up. I feel as though I've learned... Uh, I've learned... what uh, I've, The only thing I've learned is that I... Oh, blah, 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 reading. I can. I like how I can read Kokichi just, or not Kokichi, Kyo just fine. Simple sentence, nope. Out the window. Reading comprehension, gone. But you know, Kyo, the one I stand right now. Like again, Kyo is best friend. Kaido is boyfriend. We, there's a big difference. Anyway, I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you didn't comprehend anything that Kia said. It's fine. I get it. I understand. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend an ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts and unique to that village. All of them. The one I find most intriguing, the seance called the Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue in that iron cage that are over there is used in that very seance. <laughs> to discover its existence is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me? So, would you like to try? Let us co uh, converse with a dad using the caged child, shall we? No. No, thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. I, I mean, that makes sense from Shuichi. I get that. Mm. Oh, now, now. You mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance into anthropology. Dismissing things that you don't understand as the occult is the defilement of all cultures, yes? No. Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the dead. Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her once more. No. No, no. I decline. Okay. Even if it was possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd say is we escaped and we finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. When I lost I, myself. One must call on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. I think we've investigated everything here. Would you like to leave? Yes. Ooh, Kyo. Now, here's something that I'm predicting a little bit. I'm scared that we got Kyo's, uh, dun not dungeon, Kyo's, uh, place. Because Kyo could end up being the murderer now. Especially with these blood tattered walls next to it. Oh god. What in the world? Angie's? Oh boy. What is Angie's? Uh, okay. You know what though? We just got Kios. I'll deal with having Angie's right now too. Like, it's not even the bad thing. We got the ultimate lab. From the look of it, I would say for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Click, click, click. Hmm. Huh. It's locked. <gasps> Angie. Oh yep. Seems like it. Guess we can't go in. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab is some kind of rear entrance to the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But it was also locked. Uh, uh, if both doors are locked, then how are we to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet. I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard a metallic lock or click of the lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Yaha! Angie, girl, why'd you lock your door? Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey. Huh. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's go all inside already, okay? She's gonna tell us no. How pushy. Oh, good. She's actually being a competent human being. We're here for it. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, please come on in. Uh, ever before like, Angie invited us into her lab anyway. Okay, that's that good, Angie. Good job, Angie. Oh, this is pretty cute. I'm, I mean, 
For an artist's lab, I'm here for it. There is various art and carving tools that make sense for the ultimate artist's lab. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? What does that mean, Andrew? Oh. Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. I was going to answer that question. What? No, we didn't. Is your memory even worse than Monotaro's? Or, is your memory even worse, Monotaro? You promised, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense! I don't uh, care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I will stick my head... Or, I will stick... What? I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth, and rattle your molars around. Jesus! Uh, first off, that's punishing it to oneself. Second off, then you're gonna do unspeakable things to Monophany too. Damn. I guess pain is or is it pain is pleasure? I think is the saying. Oh no, I don't know why I even just said that. But whatever. Yeah! That's unsanitary. What? Oh wait, 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 Monodon, we we weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. Uh, as long as you are getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually... Ah, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe... I must shut out all the people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Yeah. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with, with me in front of people. Hmm. Oh, you mean like a porn star? Damn! Okay, Monotaro. Okay. How? It's the opposite. Then? So any room where I can make my art needs to have a key. But I'm surprised the Monic Cubs knew that. Huh? Hmm. All of these are my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um, um what could I say? I'm not a good improviser. Mm. Calm down. I'm even worse. We know everything about you, bastards. We because we want you to be our friends. I don't, like I don't want to be friends with you, though. Uh, oh, my God. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with the knockoff products. Damn. Kokichi. You sly one. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate I me? I will not forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Hmm. Now, now, Monodon. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. Monodon swiped the key from Monofane and lifted his mouth. Um, oh! He ate it! Monodom! Ah. He swallowed it. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Uh, he's flatlining! Uh -oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens to it, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. <laughs> Monodom, you're so reckless. Aww. Let's carry Monodom away now. I will carry him to some kind of boss taking care of a drug employee. So long. Oh, boy. <laughs> Aww. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh... Uh... But I'm only, I'm only going to lock the door when... I'm working so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, so I guess it's fine then. By the way. Oh, but by the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? Here's one thing about this that's very scary. 
Angie so far is the only one with a lock to her room. And it's an interior lock. So, theoretically, could Angie kill Angie could either get killed or get killed in this room at some point in this game. Or Angie could kill someone in this room at some point in this game. Which would be interesting. That's probably why this lab fits for Angie's taste so well. Does that mean this school is specially made for us? Monokuma claimed that before, but this is really possible? The giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? It's a miraculous mystery that only a Tua knows, but that doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Our lives here become more enriched than the even there's even less reason to leave this place <laughs> that's true are we supposed to be okay with that oh we don't have much to investigate for this a lump of wax there's a heap of stuff that doesn't look like a wood or stone oh this is wax for making wax sculptures uh ah uh, wax sculptures huh you can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax is a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but Atua is the one who is good at doing, or gonna be doing the sculpting okay. after all. Ah, I see. But, but... It does seem like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time, though. In the ancient times, death masks used to be made of wax, too. A wax death mask? That's kind of scary. That's the only thing. Uh, oh. I have to talk to Kokichi and... Okay. Oh, look, Suichi. The ceiling here. It's pretty unique. You're right. Ah, yeah. Exposed beams. I wonder. Is it supposed to be like this? Or did they not finish in time? Oh, those cheap knockoffs are so useless. Uh, it's like they're mixed up the Cubs pads. It's like the time when they mixed up the Cubs pad. Uh I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Even Atua says it's more sensitive when the skin is peeled back. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the front door. So now we gotta talk to Angie. I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies in here. Yeah. Sculpting chisels, chisels, a wooden hammer, a divine collection of tools. Oh, these are all of my favorites, so I can make do even or make do even if I don't have access to the deep uh, sea. Um, but now that you mention it, I don't see any complicated pieces in here or completed pieces in here. What do you expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that? I, oh, I don't need references when I have a Tua, silly. It's a Tua is the one that creates the art. Divine. From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Inatua. Oh my god. Okay, that's it, right? No, there's still more? What? This door isn't the one we used to came in. come in. This door is, like, super crappy. Uh, I'm guessing that there's a... This is the rear entrance? See? See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. Right? And that door that we used? Yeah. Yeah. That door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks on the door? Well, that's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no. It's perfect. They're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and Again? such. But I think asymmetry on a pa or partition functions are s much more beautiful. <laughs> huh. I don't really get it, but I do suppose that makes sense. I can't stay for long. I still haven't found that flashback light. I have other places in which I have to check. We'll check one last place, and then we'll end the episode, I think. that's Because then that'll be like half of what we need to get through, I think. 
Because it's basically telling me that I've finished that floor. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, holy crap -a doodle. There's... So it is only this floor, then. Because there's three things in here. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even run. Wow. That might have, you know, saved me some time. If I actually, you know, ran. I don't know. We're running. Might be a good thing. Oh, is that a bath? Left room. Oh, there's three. Oh, this might be. Oh. The candles were barely lit in the dusting room. This is creepy. And hard to see, too. Seems like something would appear in the that it would appear in the cult. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something you, or something is going to pop out at you. The candles on the wall are only are the only thing that light the room. There are no windows. It get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Ah, please don't put them out. I really don't like the dark. I can't imagine many people do. The floor beds feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh this floor bed got no nails in it. Really? Mm. Yeah, floor bed is just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not my imagination but... then. But each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Got to not worry about falling through the floor all of a sudden. Night. But it's pretty dark in here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Huh? And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor. Over there. There doesn't seem anything else of interest in this room. It doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just an empty room. Oh! Oh! It's not only empty room. You can see same looking door in hall, right? All the room... Are all those rooms empty? Just like this one. And they got candles for light, too. Ah, so there's three of them. Anyway, we got... We know gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. True. Um, we can leave soon. The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and the newspaper gets blown in. Uh, there are no windows, though. We don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room, though. True. Well. I think. The map will tell me that we're done, right? Yeah, it's not going to have me check the others. Cool. In the next episode of Danganronpa B3 Killing Harmony, we are going to investigate, hopefully, the other two sections of what we unlocked this chapter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all so very much. And we'll see you guys next time.